Um, so let's film, uh, just go. I'm just going to follow you. Oh, my God. Like, warm up, dude. What are you doing? Do 50 50. I'm out at a bigly crowded uh, Chevy Chase. But it's not that bad. I'm here with Cy. A lot of focus on Cy today. I might actually go to skate a little bit today, too. But what I wanted today, the video to somewhat be about it, is that Cy just got his permit yesterday. Our boy is becoming a man. You just said how, you said you got how many wrong? I got eight wrong out of nine. So, out of, so if you, in other words, if you would have got nine wrong, he would have failed. But there was like 40 some questions. But basically, um, there was this like weird hump that I see a lot of like, because you were like one of those skaters who was like really good for their age. And to make the transition from being good for your age to just being good at skateboarding is something you have to do before like you're 14 or 15. I feel like a lot of kids get stuck just being like good at being a little kid. And then like getting that like props from everyone makes them kind of plateau. Whereas like you broke your arm and then now, like when he came back, I feel like you're twice as good as you were. And it's only been about a month. That motivated me to work extra hard. Yeah. And a lot of bad habits with like Nolly and Switch, for some reason, like they weren't there anymore when I came back. Sometimes taking a break is like the best way to progress. That's like a real thing. Like I've taken breaks and then like I'm like better when I came back. But like what's different is it's not like you went away and then all of a sudden you're better at skating hand routes, which is what you really shine at. He went away and now he just does a lot of flip tricks, which is kind of like really surprising. Like right when he got here, the first thing I really saw you do was like nolly back heel over the hip first try. It's sick to see how consistent your flip tricks are like right out the gate. But yeah, when I broke my elbow, when I was back, I literally said I'm happy I broke my elbow. And that sounds crazy, but I was happy it happened. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got better for some reason. Yeah, I mean, when having I to like back. step away and look at everything fresh, that's like a real thing that can yeah. like really... Kickflip backside. This is gonna be a lot. Kickflip backside board side on the bump the rail. Kickflip front board down the rail. I feel like the turning part will be weird. Right oh, there. I feel like it's gonna screw you up. I just want to see you try. All right, <laughs> I, all right. I don't think you're doing it. I just, just want to see you try. Uh, I really thought you were gonna do a first go. By the time I came to this park with the idea to like back tail that rail. And like I literally took 20 run ups to back tail it. Back tails and round rails are really scary for me. Then when the first one I landed, I went to fake you like an idiot. Stood that one up really good too. I've been working on standing up kick foot back tails instead of just sliding and landing it, like really getting into it and both feet not coming off the whole time. Yeah, like standing it up like Ethan Fowler, try to make it a little blunty. Yeah, but. You see a hard flip? I didn't even know you could do hard flips. Yeah, I do hard flips. I just learned them. Side. 
Oh. Oh. If you'd have switched on top with that first try, I'd have been so stoked. Is that like a new trick for you? Did you just start doing those? Yeah, I just started. It's one of those tricks that I feel like when people get them, they really get them. Like switch front big spins, when people have them, they have them. Back big spins, when people have them, they really have them. Backside 360s. Oh. That's probably my favorite rail trick you do. Yeah. Locks in good every time. It's so wild. It's such a good flick. Oh my god. Keep going. You can do it again, but you keep going. Damn. Every trick he like commits to. I don't know if you remember uh, Baby Sai, but when I first started coming on my channel, he would take like 100 run-ups to everything. He hasn't taken a run-up yet today, and he's committed to every first try. Like, if he's slipping into something, he's not doing that catch and kick it away. Like, he's putting his feet on it. It's kind of crazy. Big progression, like mentally and like skill-wise. And the mental one, I think, is a lot harder. All right, uh, now that he's kind of run through a lot of, like these are tricks that he can just do, which is crazy. Uh, he's gonna try to learn a new one, which is heel flip back crook. I've never even seen him. Oh yeah. Put that truck right on it first go, damn. Right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you like, got how it. How is it even locked in that good? My foot pushed down, so I almost landed. Yeah, that was like backside nose grind. Like he was like toe side looking. There it is. There it was. Oh. That was crazy looking. Brian's got five on this tray. That's such a hard trick. I should I should offer like fifty. That's I could not do that. <laughs> He'll put Willie. You know, I'm trying to make this argument that, you know, he's like growing up and he's, you know, trying to make the transition of being a good skater, not a little kid, but he just pinky promised me that he was gonna commit this try, so clearly still young. You're just saying like he's not scared at all. Um, he's just stuck in the bad muscle memory. Like every single time he rolls up to it, he feels confident, goes for it, but then he just, force of habit, jumps off his board. I'm not showing all the tries, but we're, we're like 20 minutes deep right now. I mean, it's a new trick for him. <laughs> Real or net? All right, man. Flipping guy? I'm not gonna show any more tries so people think that's what you were trying. <laughs> structured. Less structured. <laughs> it's kind of a tall ledge to now I flip into. Come on! Look at his little insole hanging out of his fucking toe. Let me see. That's so ridiculous. Wow, well, scary. You alright?
real quick uh, me interlude. I'm actually kind of slightly skating today. So instead of like trying to do long lines of my go-to's, I'm trying to learn like a couple tricks real quick. That's kind of it. I mean, that's so that But new trick, sort of, like 60%. Like, I'm only at a better though. Control. I know that was like a low hanging fruit, like a shove it lit variation, but uh, I just wanted to like learn something new since I haven't been skating at all to just get like a little bit of motivation flowing. But now we'll do some a little bit of cruising. So like a goal that I did have for today was board slide the 50-50s on flat bars. And while I was filming him do those heel flip crooks, I was just like playing with it on this ledge like this. What the ultimate goal, like if I got comfortable enough on a flat bar to go like this, like back smith, I'd be so stoked, but I'll try to slide one, like board slide to 50-50 grind on the ledge. I'll we'll try it on the flat bar, I guess. Yeah, that was sick. Nah, this is kind of scary. I have to lock in like really in the center, I think. Oh, like, I can do it. I'm just getting scared. And that's a start. Not that was trying, sick. But, like, I had control over the heels, so I know I can go to 50. Scenario I fall on the flat bar. Like, it's a flat bar. I'll be okay. I mean, that's not it, but if I do something like that, fluid, it, it's it. Damn, that was sick. It's crazy on how scared I am of this trick when the flat bar going this slow. I know a lot of it has to do with I haven't been skating at all, so everything's scary, but I still feel like I should be somewhat comfortable trying this. I'm just not. That was it. That's the second shot that I fell on fuck around today. I do. I do a lot of slappy back wing nose grinds and slappy bennett grinds. The 50 50 one is one I haven't done in a long time, and it's kind of the hardest one of all three. So I'll give it three tries. If I don't come close, I'm over it. But. Thank you. 
first drag. Little baby hubba skater. Never thought I'd see a tech sideline. That was so good. Wrong trick. Yes, yeah, side. I don't think I've ever seen you do a switch tail before. <laughs> That was sick. It's almost like you have a completely different trick list than you did before you got hurt. When I got hurt, I kept thinking like, man, I'm gonna be injured now for a while and this is all my time to work on switch. Yeah. So then when I got back, I was like, switch and nollie. That's all I thought about. Dude, that's sick. And stair tricks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely way more flip tricks. I feel like before when we would go to like gaps and stuff with Powell, uh -huh. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't join in on the session. You'd wait yeah. for the rails and the, and yeah, the, the hubba. Yeah, I just be rail guy. I knew I'd escape the other stuff. I just didn't like it. Yeah. But now I've learned to really like everything. Yeah. Even a little bit of transition. I've been yeah. skating more recently. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's definitely the move. I yeah. I want to start dabbling with like more bowls and like vert, uh -huh. like mini ramps and stuff like that. I've always been comfortable, but vert is something like I would. We can't have Deville being able to do more tricks than us on any yeah. obstacle. I don't <laughs> care if it's a vert ramp or not. I need yeah. to start skating vert again. I filmed that kind of. Whoa, let's go. Pressure. The kid was like in the way at the exact right moment to block it, but he had like a kind of a pressure heel flip out. Steven falling on a heel flip, you're right. Yeah, Steven. <laughs> 